beautiful day in South or a beautiful afternoon cycling, but I've ended up in hospital. Unfortunately, there was a little like water running across the road that's not supposed to be there. There was people coming the other way, so I went to overtake them, and I've ended up by breaking my ankle in two places. It's fine, are you there? Okay. Yeah. Before we've been interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> By the nurse. Yeah, I've broken my ankle in two places. I've broken the tibia and in Spanish it's called the paroni, but I'm not too sure what that is. So I'm just waiting now for the consultant traumatologist to come and speak to me because it looks like I might end up with an operation. So I'll let you know what happens next. Bye bye from a very <coughs> sad and unhappy Marion. Bye. Hello. So here we are in hospital. Operation tomorrow. Well, we don't know yet. Well, operation sometime this week. <laughs> Hoping it's going to be sooner rather than later, because the longer that you leave it, the more problems there are with bones. Especially as they haven't been able to set them properly. No. It was very, very painful when they manipulated it. I think I screamed for England. I'll put it on video. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. How did you get it on video? No, oh, just sound. <gasps> Normally when you come into hospital you feel quite safe, but they've still got a few cases of uh, COVID here. Um, I should imagine they're probably further up in the hospital. Anyway, so you just don't feel safe, so it's just sort of going around and cleaning everything. I don't really want to touch anything, so just use a sanitizer gel because it uh, just makes you feel that much safer. And there she is. A bit more human now, I've had a wash and done my hair. Mine looks look brilliant. <laughs> but it's feel a bit better. A little bit better in yourself? Yeah. Still in pain, but hi ho. Four and a half hours later, done. How are you feeling? Exhausted. Glad it's all over. Now comes the next part, the recovery. Recovery next, yes. Hmm. Might take some time. Anyway. Just thinking, crikey, what would have been like if it had been my whole leg? Hmm. Really further, further, further up. Not been easier actually, further up. I've had no. epidural, so everything's still dead. I'm like a dead weight at the moment, so I can't move anything about without like, lifting it up manually and putting it It's really weird. Uh, the epidural took effect from just under my boobs all the way down to the top of my toes. So, really weird. Anyway, that's it, thank you. Can't be very nice hearing a bloke with a drill. <laughs> And then, and then tap, 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 On that side, I think about 10 on there. That's the 12 on that side, yeah. There's 12 there, the other was 10. Yeah, there's a big long one down there. Oh. Well, not that big. So I'm going to do it on this one. And redress it, and then. Uh... You've got to go to the shop and buy a thingy. Oh, I thought you were going with me, so I've got to go get it. I, I'm not too sure that she said someone's going to come and explain. Okay. I've had me, uh, me wash. You good? I'm ready. Okay, so there it is. Apparently there's a long plate in there with nine, uh, ten screws in it. 
And just a small screw in that no, side. One screw, but still a long plate. Because yeah. it was very broken, she said, lots of little pieces. Oh. Right. So yeah, home today, once we get the boot on.